Kel Brook makes weight for his same day IBF weigh-in. We have ourselves a fight. Stay tuned. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Today is the day. This is one of the greatest welterweight fights that we've had in a while, at least on paper. And based on the temperament of both fighters, I really see this living up to the hype and being a good fight. Both guys have skills. This, to me, this is my favorite type of boxing. And that's boxing where you get the best of everything. You got guys who have a defense. They're not trying to get hurt, right? They're not just mindless walking forward with no type of defense. They try to see the shots coming and evade them. They have technique offensively and they try to mix it up and adjustments, things like that. That's really my favorite style. Guys who have, you know what I mean? When a guy has power and they have variety, adjustments, ring IQ, you can't really ask for more as a boxing fan. Now, Kell Brook, he just posted this. Check weight done, 156.9. Do not miss this fight. And he says, and still, he's ready. He hits the, the IBF weight. Just in case the people that don't know, IBF, if you hold their belt as a champion or you're challenging for their belt as a challenger, they have a rule where you have to do a same-day weigh-in and you cannot gain more than 10 pounds or whatever the cap is by the time you weigh in after you're free to go but you do have a same day weigh in they're really the only ones that that i can think of that do this but they want to i guess regulate it so people don't do these crazy because cutting weight is a science so some people have a master where they can cut weight and just start cramming and eating crazy and they'll balloon back to naturally your body's going to do what what feels normal to it so some people will balloon up and gain 25 pounds maybe 27 pounds overnight because they had to kill themselves to make weight especially if they're young the younger you are the easier it is to fluctuate your body so i'm looking forward to this keith thurman said he was gonna be tuned into this fight it's a great fight and big things for the winner obviously the loser is gonna have a setback and we'll have to see how it plays out and how they lose there's just so many levels of intrigue British boxing has been lit. The fans have been great, and that's where it's happening in the UK. So I look forward to a great crowd. The UK is putting on some great events like Joshua Klitschko. In addition to that, there's how's the judging going to be? How's Kell Brook's eye going to hold up? How's Kell Brook going to deal with Errol Spence's body shots? How's Errol Spence going to deal with the best fighter he's he's stepped in with as a pro? How's he going to deal with that Kell Brook jab? What if Kell Brook's clinching? What if he's stronger than? Errol Spence anticipated on so many levels this is a great fight and to me this is one of those fights where it's it's almost honestly kind of dumb when people go overboard and start slaughtering each other in the comment section about who you're picking you could easily make an argument for either guy because there's things we don't know about Errol Spence Jr. and Kell Brook there's ways he could lose the fight too you know what I mean so it's all in all a good fight I haven't heard about Errol Spence making weight, but he should be doing the same day early weigh-in too to challenge because he didn't do all this man down and all that to not fight for the title. He's a professional, no dude, and I think he, he should make his same day weigh-in. So it looks like we have ourselves a fight. Let me know who wins. I did a video on their gloves. They both have dope Grant Puncher's gloves, horse hair. We'll see who hurts who first and how this plays out. I will be back post-fight to give my thoughts. You guys stay tuned. Make sure you share the video, like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.